Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your refrigerator's ice maker is not working, here are the top six most probable causes. The ice maker will not produce ice cubes efficiently if the freezer temperature is too high. Ideally, the temperature should be set between 0 and 5 degrees Fahrenheit. If the freezer temperature stays above 15 degrees Fahrenheit, there is probably something wrong with the appliance's cooling system. This can be caused by accumulated debris on the condenser coils, preventing the coils from properly dissipating heat. The failure of the condenser fan motor to properly circulate the air, or frosted over evaporator coils restricting airflow. The evaporator coils being frosted over indicates a failure in the defrost system, which is caused by a defective defrost control, heater, or thermostat. The refrigerator's water inlet valve controls the water being sent to the ice maker tray. The inlet valve can fail both mechanically and electrically. A mechanical failure could be caused by the buildup of mineral deposits, preventing the valve from opening. If this happens, you'll need to replace the valve. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair. To determine if the inlet valve has failed electrically, use a multimeter to test the valve solenoid coils for continuity. If one or more of the coils test negative for continuity, the inlet valve will need to be replaced. To operate properly, the water inlet valve requires at least 20 pounds of water pressure per square inch. To help determine this, shut off the water supply, disconnect the supply line from the inlet valve, and hold the line over a bucket. Turn the water supply back on and observe whether or not there is a strong flow of water jetting out of the line. A weak flow indicates a problem with the water line or the water supply valve. A frozen water supply tube leading to the ice maker tray can also prevent the ice maker from working. You can thaw the supply tube by heating it with a hair dryer, but be aware that a frozen supply tube is usually caused by insufficient water pressure or a defective inlet valve. The door switch disables the ice dispenser when the refrigerator door is open. A faulty door switch will prevent the dispenser from working even when the door is closed. As with the water inlet valve solenoids, you can use a multimeter to test the door switch for continuity to determine if the part has failed or not. One of the components inside the ice maker assembly itself could be malfunctioning. Since these components are usually not sold separately, you'll need to replace the entire assembly once you've ruled out the other probable causes. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.